Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. This will not resonate with every Sagittarius and it will not resonate with every Sagittarius cross watcher. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I'm not offering personal readings at this time, but don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sag. What did my Sag collective need to know at this time, Cigarette? What does my Sag collective need to know at this time? What does my Sag collective need to know at this time, Sarah? Two of Cups. Mm. Seven of Swords. Six of Swords. Hermit. Okay, two of Cups. Mm. Five of Swords. All right, I see there's like some type of rift in a relationship or some tension, conflict. Seven of Swords, Four of Cups. Hermit, page of wands. So I see that maybe somebody that you've been in no contact with, they could be reaching out to you. You could be receiving communication. Um, possible signs here. I'm just, I see Virgo energy and I also see um, fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. The lovers on the back of the deck, Gemini energy. Some of you guys could be receiving communication from a Virgo, but if it's not that, this is somebody that you've been in no contact with or you haven't been speaking to. Um, this is somebody that maybe you were in a relationship with. This could be a friend, but I see that there's maybe some type of conflict or tension. Why well, do I feel like somebody is secretly yearning for you? Somebody is secretly dwelling, like thinking of you, reminiscing on you. Somebody is trying to move on from you. Somebody's trying to move on, but I don't think that they are, they have, they haven't moved on. Somebody's thinking about you. And I feel like they're probably going to reach out to you. They feel a connection with you. This is somebody that desires a relationship with you, a balanced reciprocal reciprocal relationship with you. But this could have been a third party situation, guys. I feel like you and this person maybe had a falling out. Because they were like maybe withholding information from you or they were not being honest with you. They weren't commute. They, they could have blocked you. Somebody's trying to work up the courage to reach out to you and talk to you. Somebody from your past could be a fire sign. Or somebody from your past is trying to reach out to you. This is something where like it never really stabilized or it really never got off the ground completely. Maybe somebody didn't, you didn't, this person didn't offer you commitment or stability. They, you didn't offer them that or vice versa. Ten of Wands. Coins. Somebody's thinking about you guys. That's all I keep hearing. Somebody's reminiscing on you guys. Tell me more. thorns okay yeah like somebody has maybe made the difficult choice to walk away from this somebody had to make a difficult choice about the past 
So in the past, somebody had to make a difficult choice here. What about the past? Unfinished. So yeah, somebody maybe feels like they had to walk away from you. They had to pull away from you or they had to make some type of difficult choice in regards to this relationship. But somebody still feels like there's unfinished business between the two of you. They feel like things aren't over. All right, so tell me more. Yeah, somebody wants another chance. Somebody's probably going to come back and ask for another chance here. They want to try to restore this connection. The marriage, they want to, this person sees marriage with, or this, hold on, tell you about marriage. Dreams. Yeah, this person dreams of getting married to you. They could have had a dream that they did get married to you, or it's like this person dreams and is hoping and wishing to marry you. They see marriage or long term with you for sure. Surviving. But guys, also be aware that this person, this is somebody that um is maybe going through some type of financial hardship, or they've been going through some type of financial instability, but they that maybe could be improving for them. Okay. Um, tell me more. Luck. Yeah, there's about to be some type of positive change. If somebody has been going through some type of financial hardship, I see their money or their finances are going to be improving. And that's probably going to give them the confidence boost to come towards you or to offer something here. The devil. All right, tell me more about this. They could have had some really bad financial um, habits that have put them in a hole money-wise. This is somebody that could have been stuck in some type of toxic karmic cycle as well. They were unable to let go of the past. They kept repeating the same unhealthy patterns. But somebody is like, yeah, somebody's growing and changing here. They're they're knowing their worth. They're loving themselves more. They're they're thinking about situations more logically. And I see that they're taking the lead in their life here. Hear more about poor health. This person was holding on to things that they needed to let go of, and it was it was really negatively affecting them. It's been causing them a lot of it, it's been physically affecting their health, mentally, spiritually. Um, but somebody is like becoming more open minded here. Somebody is being more open to go with the going with the flow. The birth and yeah now there's this new they're gonna come in and ask for this new or there's gonna be a new beginning that manifests between you and this person or they're gonna come in and offer it to you yeah they want to try to rebuild a connection or rebuild a life with you higher power yeah because somebody is more in alignment with their highest good so now they're able to see more clearly what's good and bad for them all right tell me more about sadness hot mess coldness This is somebody that's been hiding their feelings for you as well. This is somebody that maybe acted like they didn't love you, acted like they didn't have feelings for you, but they do. They, they've been involved in some type of chaotic or messy, toxic situation. That has been, they're, they have a lot of regrets. They have, they're very depressed over it or very disappointed about some things that occurred in that situation. And it's been blocking them from really being able to open their heart to you. Yeah, but we have manifestation here. Something is about to manifest in this relationship. Yeah. If you feel like things have been up in the air between you and this person, they're not offering you a commitment. There's about to be some type of happy outcome or good outcome. Things are going to be going in your favor. Oops, hold up, guys. Learning. So there's about to be some type of... Let me tell me more about learning. Somebody is like maybe seeing the truth about a situation or the truth of a person. And I feel like it's like giving them the clarity that they need to be able to move on or... They, they're realizing that they need to protect themselves or pull back their energy from certain situations and people. And yeah, they're realizing that certain situations that they've been holding on to is not for them anymore. Teamwork. What about teamwork? They've probably been in some very unrest, like some situations that were very imbalanced. And um, I feel like they see with you that you guys could be, you guys could work together. You guys could be a team. They wouldn't have to do everything alone or you guys could work together unseen all right what about the unseen and woman what about woman the wheel delays so there's been some other type of feminine on their end that has been causing delays or blockages in their life or in this situation that maybe you didn't know about that they aren't really recognizing yeah somebody's been trying to intentionally cause chaos in their life Somebody may need to relocate to remove themselves from a toxic situation. Somebody maybe needs to get a new job. 
or somebody is going to be relocating and I see that it's going to cause a lot of arguments and dis disagreements here. Um, somebody could be moving for a job. I see that possibility. Um, yeah, I see that somebody is possibly going to be relocating and it's going to cause an, an argument or a fight here. But it's like somebody's going to have the opportunity, whatever this is, they're going to be able to do a job that they love. So they're about to take a risk. Yeah, it's like, I don't think this has anything to do with a love offer. Somebody is maybe moving or relocating so that they can do a job that they love. And it's like they feel like they need to seize the opportunity because it's probably something that isn't going to come around every day. But it's divine intervention. It's like somebody somebody's going to be relocating and it's going to be actually something that's very positive. I see it's going to cause an argument or a fight or disagreements over this, but it's actually the divine is <coughs> orchestrating this because, so guys, let me make this more clear. I feel like your person is dealing with somebody else. There's somebody around them that causes a lot of chaos and drama in their life. And I feel like it's a feminine, okay? I see that this feminine or whoever this is that they're dealing with is going to be relocating, okay? Somebody is moving here. And I see that it's going to cause a lot of arguments. Now, why is that causing arguments between the two of them? I don't know. There could be children involved. There's something that if this person moved away, they, they would be losing out on. Like It's something that they feel like if this person moves away, they're, they're going to be suffering a loss. All right? Anyways, but this person that's moving away is moving because they're, they're going to have like a job opportunity or something here. Um... And it's like, there's something that's about to happen for your, to your person or in your person's situation that's out of their control that they may not like, but it's actually going to be in their best interest, even if they're not able to see that right now. But it's like, they need to, they need to stop talking to this person. They need some distance between them and this other person, this feminine or whoever this is. They need that. And I feel like once that happens, then this one, this person's going to be more open to wanting to open their heart to you or dating you. They're going to see the potential in this relationship. This person that they have around them it has been blocking them and stagnating them, not keeping them in illusion and keeping them in an illusion and keeping them from being able to see things clearly. But I see that there's about to be something that's out of this person's control that happens here that they're not going to like, but it's for their best interest. I feel like this third party, this, this other person, possibly a feminine is going to be relocating, moving away. There's going to be maybe some distance put between them and a third party. And it's like the best thing that could possibly happen for them. Okay. That's all I'm seeing here. And I feel like that's when things are going to have the potential to grow between the two of you. Now it's up to you guys, whether or not you want to, you know, pursue that when this person's more open to it, considering the situation. Um, but like I said, use your intuition, do what's best for you. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. I'm not offering personal readings at this time, but don't forget to like um, and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.